Okay, so what I'm going to do is now show you how to graph a quadratic that's in vertex form. And vertex form is awesome when we just want to graph something simply. But for every one of these videos, I'm going to keep y equals x squared up here. And this is what we call our parent graph. And what we're going to do is we're going to use our vertex form to help us to understand what are the transformations that's going on. So what I want to show you how to graph is y equals x squared minus 3. And when applying these problems, what we're going to do is we're just going to apply the transformations. All right. So when we looked at this, a x minus h squared plus k, what we can see is whenever I take my function, my parent graph, and I subtract 3, now what that's going to do is that's just going to take my parent graph and then shift it down 3. So the important thing is when I'm graphing this is I want to be able to find the vertex. And the vertex is going to be the simplest thing for us to move. So our parent graph is our vertex is at 0, 0. So if I'm going to take this down, because now my k is at negative 3, when I shift this down, I'm just going to go, instead of starting at 0, 0, I'm now just going to go down to 3 units. Now, it's important for us to understand the parent graph and notice the relationship of our points when our a is 1. In this case, our a is 1. And you can see I go left 1, up 1, left 2, up 4. So since my a, in this case, is equal to 1, so we could say a equals 1 and k equals negative 3. All right. Since my a equals 1, I'm going to have the same relationship for my points. So I'm going to go left 1, up 1. Or I'm sorry, right 1, left 1. Or left, right, up, left, up. And then I'll go over 2, over 2, up 4. Left 2, up 4. And then I can simply now graph my quadratic. Okay. And then for these problems, what we can do is we can say now my vertex, all right, my vertex is going to be at the point 0, comma, negative 3. My y-intercept is going to be at 0, comma, negative 3. And my x-intercepts, you guys can see the x-intercepts don't add an exact value, but we'll talk about how to find those exact values later. But you can see my x-intercept is going to be at uh, negative 2. greater than, uh, which is greater than negative 1, or less than 1 to negative 1, or it's going to be um, 1, which is greater than x, which is greater than 2. So I'm just going to estimate right now for my x-intercepts. And you can see also see the axis of symmetry. Now since we know over here my axis of symmetry is at 0, well, this graph, I didn't shift it anywhere left to right. So the axis of symmetry is still going to be at 0. So notice whenever I have an a is 1 and my k is negative 3, that's just shifting the graph up or down. And how many units is it shifting the graph? It's only shifting the graph the value of your k. So therefore, you can just see that this graph shifts it down 3 units. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you transform a quadratic. Thanks.